We've been talking a lot about the food that you put into your body, but what about what you put on your skin? There's a lot of personal care products and cosmetics that uh, are dubious at the best. And I always look at ingredients, just like I look at food, um, and I look at always the ingredients. I don't look at the marketing speak. I don't look that it's got this and that in it, or it it's, will redefine your skin or make you look amazing or give you youth. I, I never look at that stuff. What I look at is I look at the ingredients of what's in it. And while this goes worldwide, it's hard for me to mention any name brands. But when you start to read the ingredients and you're starting to see pegs or you're starting to see fragrances um, and ingredients that are just like a chemical name. And sometimes they'll put the chemical name there and then they'll say olive oil or Jehovah oil, or it, it may have something like that. I always find the less ingredients, the better. And I, some people in my Nutrition Academy, um, they do some beautiful jobs with making the best cosmetics, as well as I love um, 28, of course, um, which you can get online, that's 20 and the number eight. So there are personal care products and cosmetics that you can purchase that are organic, um, but I also have good ingredients. And I, I have noticed um, with organic, you know, I've read some of the shampoos and conditioners out there, because I'm talking about shampooing, conditioning, moisturizers, underarm deodorants. Um, so looking at everything, moist, you know, everything that we put on our skin, I'm, I, I'm actually noticing that, you know, there's a string of ingredients and I'm not really sure how they're made or what they are, especially extracts and things like that. I, I've, I've seen how they're made. And what's really important is that many um, additives in food as well as uh, chemicals made for cosmetics or personal care products are starting to be made by genetically modified um, microorganisms. So it's part of the, you know, the GM thing that's happening at the moment. So I, I like to see that there's food. One of the things that I do is that I make up my own moisturizer, which is an oil. Um, and my kids sometimes go, Mom, you've got oil everywhere. But anyway, I like it. So I use, I don't know if you can see, this is my Inky Inchy oil. So when you buy this in a cosmetic, it's like for 30 mil, you might pay $90. And this is, uh, you know, 250 mil and it's under $30. So I will put that into a small container and then I'll put essential oils in it. And that will be my um, moisturizer. If I want an astringent, I'll put some distilled water with some essential oils in it and just spray it on my face. If you want, you can make your own moisturizers. There's many um, really good recipes out there how to make them and how to emulsify them. So um, my sister-in-law actually makes a beautiful bar um, moisturizer. So it's, it's in a bar shape um, and she just rubs it on herself and she makes that with shea butter and beeswax, essential oils and um, other, other oils like olive oil or jojoba oil or my inky inchi oil. I also, in the summer, not so much in the winter, I will use coconut oil, um, but coconut oil, uh, if you're pouring it out of something, won't work in the, in the um, winter, but it will in the summer, especially in Queensland where I live. So when you're out there looking, first of all, ask um, the shop attendant, you know, what is the best organic range? What's the range that's most natural? But don't take their word for it. Make sure you flip it over, read the ingredients. And if the ingredients look like a chemical laboratory, then put them aside. If it looks like, you know, like it's got a bit of jojoba oil and, and maybe the emulsifier is a sunflower emulsifier or a sunflower lecithin. So what that does is that that makes sure that it's a cream rather than an oil usually. So they'll mix a bunch of oils together, put that emulsifier in and it'll make sure that they all stay together. So the idea is like your food, read the ingredients of all your personal care products. There's a wonderful cottage industry happening out there at the moment um, and, and people are actually making their own and then selling them at markets. Once again, read the ingredients, talk to the, to the, the maker of it and um, you will have something that you're putting on your skin that will nourish your body as opposed to have more and more chemicals that will not nourish your body. And remember, your skin is the largest elementary organ that you have, but it also absorbs um, not everything, but it will absorb. So, um, you know, be very, very mindful of what you're putting on your skin, what you're brushing your teeth with, 
um, what makeup you're using and try and find a brand or make it yourself that has all natural ingredients and organic if that. All right, I'll see you in the next video.